brother, and this and, and we're celebrating today. We're not gonna talk about what we're celebrating, okay? Because that's gonna be a problem, yeah. all right? So, like I said, we're gonna make a nice Portuguese meal over here together, all right? He's got some skills, I got some skills, gonna <laughs> put them together. And we're gonna do this thing. We're gonna make a mess. Eu e o Álvaro aqui assim a fazer aqui assim um cozido à da monde em Portugal. Vocês sabem o labrador. À da monde. Isto vai ser à da monde. À da monde o labrador. Okay. So the, it's very simple meal and it, it's gonna be very delicious. I got some beautiful codfish in here. Look at this, how thick that is. We're gonna put this in here. That's so salt cod. Salt cod that's been sitting in water for about four days. Mm. I've been changing the water every day. And so what we're gonna do is. Uh, I'm gonna get this stuff ready here, and um, Al's gonna get the collard greens ready. I need and, a knife. Uh, and, and he needs a knife. I you need see a what knife. I'm saying? He, this guy here. I have he needs. What he need? He needs a knife. Okay, I, I have, him a knife. Okay. What, what, what has that been used on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna take this knife. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is the last time I'm gonna invite him down here. Uh, to help me. This cook. is a special knife of some kind. <laughs> hey, we just cut it's, the cheese. It's only got a few pieces of something else on it. I don't know what That's it is. That's the cheese. We cut the cheese, cheese with it. Oh, don't cut the cheese with this knife. Thank you. <laughs> Erase. Oh, Erase. Yeah. I'll tell you, I got it. He did not cut the cheese. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. You start doing that, and never mind. I already watched this for you, by the way. <laughs> right. Now I'm afraid to ask. Okay. With what? <laughs> with what? Okay. Did you put it in the dishwasher? Okay, Kathy, get me over here. Al is not that important. I'm doing the, the carrots. Look at this. Look at these beautiful carrots I'm cutting over here. Don't give me more time, okay? Don't give him so much uh, time. Remember who's the boss over here, all right? You just look at him every now and then. You know what I mean? This is ready. Tony's the eye candy. I'm, I'm the eye candy. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at this. KC, right on. Yeah, uh huh. I'm here for contrast. Uh, <laughs> Not I can. Also, this is olive oil, right there. <laughs> if you so, don't have this, you're not doing it right. Well, not only that, that's a stain, but it's a healthy stain. It's also a brand new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that it's, also, a, it's called the Portuguese tie dye. <laughs> okay, look at. Are oh, you getting my carrots over here? Don't worry about his cow growing so much. What is more important? The, the chef over here or the helper? Right away, she's giving you more uh, time online. What is this? I think it's because I'm doing it right. <laughs> I don't know. Tony, do you usually cut out the center like he's doing? What? Hey, he's doing it his way. He doesn't know any better. He's just learning. <laughs> and now, Remember. the end is near. <laughs> Hey, Kathy, but we don't want to be too tough on him because you know how it is? You want to make him feel good. You know what I'm saying? I grew these from seed. Yeah. Okay, no, no. so you gotta treat him with respect. Right, now he did grow these from seed. You, I mean, hey, forget about it. You know, the kid, he... i tell you one thing, he's got, he's got the green thumb, okay? So, look at these, look at these beauties. Look at this beauty, oh my gosh, look at this. Mm. That's a turnip, right? This is a turnip. Now, it's, it's just, it's the, the combination of the stuff we put in here. And um, in, in, in the days when I was young and in Portugal, we didn't always have all these items, you know what I'm saying? So, so Tony, why do they call it a turnip? A turnip? Why do they call it that? I have no idea. <laughs> why, why do they call it a turnip? Don't ask me. You asked the question. I'm here to ask questions. <laughs> well, I'm not here to give any answers. Can somebody please Google that? <laughs> a turnip, a turnip. I hear the terms, they, they're kind of lonely vegetables. So they like to be cooked with other vegetables. I think they just show up at parties, I'm invited. Yeah, look, at this. look at this, look at this beauty here. Look, I'm getting all these ready. I mean, you notice that my knife action? You notice my knife action? I mean, this kid, I mean, you know, forget about it. Then we'll put a little onion in there. You see, do you see me using a cutting board? This is a cutting board. Right, exactly. No, but you gotta have a fancy cutting board. If I had known where this one came from, I would use your countertop. <laughs> well, this, the stone is, is good. That's what you gotta worry about. Look at this. Look how nice this is. Everybody must get stoned. Everybody, yeah. everybody. Okay, so let's see here. Where's my thing here? Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look, look at the action I got here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I, if, if, if the <laughs> army saw me, they would recruit me just to do their potatoes. Impressive. Look at this. Look at that. Come on. 
You kidding me? What do you have to say to all the people in Portugal? A gente aqui assim, estamos em San Diego, eu e o Álvaro, ok? A gente simplesmente estamos a pensar em Damona, onde a gente crescemos, e quando a gente, a Sofuzinha, a Tia Rosalina, fazia isto para a gente, e eu ia para lá ajudá-la, e ela fazia isto, ela não fazia tanta coisa, ela só botava bacalhau, uh, umas batatas e umas couves, é só, bom, é só. E tinha vinho de casa, isso era o mais importante. E... Um, you were a pequenito, mas ela deixava beber um bocadinho. This is where the subtitles are going to be used. Yeah. <laughs> to uh, translate to American. Yeah. Al, oh, why are you wearing those glasses in the kitchen? I have an eye, uh, some kind of problems with my eyes. Is it like protection from the food? It's protection from people. From people? Yeah. This way they don't recognize who the guy is, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> next thing you know, they don't want some of his collard greens. And he don't want a whole bunch of calls like, hey, yeah, I'll give me some collard greens. You know what I'm saying? I don't live in California. <laughs> he doesn't live I am in... incognito. He's just visiting. Look at that. You see what I'm getting everything ready nice, nice? <laughs> okay. Look at this. But this action, this is where you, you really see the chef in me. So we're telling you, where'd you get that saying nice, nice from? I have no idea. Sonny Orza. My man, Sonny Orza in Yonkin, New York. Aww. He's my main man. You know what I'm saying? Taught me everything I know, and even the things I don't want to do. But you know, he taught me everything. Okay, so I don't know what this is sitting on, but I would say definitely boil these. <laughs> okay, oh you, you, you can put. The, you want to. You want to put this in here? Yes. <laughs> if I don't survive this, <laughs> there's a whale that's in my office desk, <laughs> upper right hand corner. <laughs> <laughs> Al, Al also uh, uh, has a second job as a health inspector. <laughs> and, and so that's why he's talking like that, okay? The health inspectors <laughs> over here, guys, I don't do the right thing, there's gonna be some big trouble. So I'm trying to do the right thing, but it's not easy with Al around. Okay, so inspector, so you see, I gotta, I'm gonna wash them again, okay? <laughs> Okay. I don't think you need to watch it again. You're good. Oh! Now cut them to sizes so they're quicker at the right rate. Okay. All right. So uh, since you have the knife, why don't you go ahead and cut them, mm. and I'll get the garlic ready over here. I crush this garlic like this. I'm so strong. <laughs> See, this is how I do it. I crush them. You know what I mean? Most guys, they have to cut each one out individually. But How big do you want your potatoes? In half? <laughs> you have to, whatever you want to do. No, I mean, this is your meal. No, it's our meal. Okay, okay? all right. That's well, what you need to know. Half? If you gonna, well, we'll do it in half to make it, to make it match. We'll probably want to put these in there first, because these will take all to cook in the potatoes. Yeah, I can cut them smaller, and it takes the same amount of time. So whatever you want to do. <laughs> See, I want him to have control. So in case it doesn't come out good, we can blame him, okay? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You always let them get a little control. You know, because... Um, when never, things trust, never trust a man with olive oil stains on his shirt. <laughs> when things go haywire... If I was in control, my shirt would be clean. When things go haywire, you gotta have somebody to blame. Vocês sabem, a gente que tem assim outra pessoa a trabalhar com a gente, deixa eles fazer as decisões. Quando eles isto não trabalhar bem, a gente pode ser que foi a problema deles. É assim que tem que ser. I think we'll leave the onion the way it is, because it'll... It'll uh, open up on its own. Okay. You all fala português, mas não ia dizer nada. Não fala. Tens de falar umas palavrasinhas assim, dizer olá e ainda monde. Witness Protection Program. Ah, o gajo está a ser um, com problemas com a polícia, sabem? Portanto, ele não quer que ninguém saiba que ele está aqui. É por isso que eu tenho aqueles óculos. You gotta do subtitle for this, don't you? Okay. Okay. Alright, these are ready to go. Well, actually, I should do the onion because it may not fall into the water, so we'll do it yeah. again. Okay. Oops. What do I do with that garlic? Okay. All right. So now we're gonna do. Okay. Is that water boiling? It looks like it's boiling. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna put in there is those. Uh -huh. And the onions. And the onions. Okay. Because you want flavor. That's the turnips, right? Turnips. Yes. Turnips and the onions going first. The water's boiling. This is why they call them turnips. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn them up, or else there's gonna be trouble. 
Okay, so that's we'll put, cooking. We'll put some of the bigger, uh, uh, the big, some of the big stuff on there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Make it sound scientific, even though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay, you get that there, Okay. Uh -huh. And then, so what we'll do is, we'll we'll put that. That'll cook for about, uh, you know, like what do you think, Al? Five minutes or so. What? Oh, before these. you put no, the rest of it in? Yeah. Yeah, that's your, that's your read. Five minutes is good. Okay, we're doing it together, okay? You know what I'm saying? In that case, six minutes. Okay, six <laughs> minutes. He added an extra minute. So if it's overcooked, guess who gets blamed? He does. I like it. I already like it. Okay. All right. So, All right. So now I'm having Al over here. My help, what, my assistant. He's pretty good, though. Yeah, he's going to put the rest. He's going to potatoes, the carrots in here. Because this has been cooking for about 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, and so uh, it's all a timing thing. The onions uh, here, they're cooking. And the turnips, which needed a little bit longer, and they're looking pretty good. So he thinks that this is the best time to put them in. So you, you, go you put them in them. head first so you don't hear the screaming. Yes, exactly. Okay. I mean, we, we're always considered about the vegetables. You know, we don't want to hurt the vegetables, right? I'm saying? No vegetables were hurt no in, the, vegetables in the making of this meal. Yeah, you know, we, look at how quick you get them in there, right? Yeah. They never even know what hit them. Tiny screams, just tiny screams. I mean, you know, I can hear them. What is this? I can hear them. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Throw it in there, don't worry about it. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook. Now these uh, uh, potatoes and carrots that we put in here, um, we'll probably let them cook for about six minutes or so, huh? You no, know? the potatoes can take a good 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes, okay. Hey, you know, the thing is, Ten I'm learning. You know, sometimes the master can learn from the students. Okay, who's the student, who's the master? We don't know. Sometimes we go back and forth. The science is the water got cold because uh -huh. we put cold vegetables in. Okay. So now you got to get it all back to the boiling point. Okay. And then you use a fork to figure out when you're done. Okay. See what happens. There's no when minutes you... involved here. See, you see. You poke it. Poke I, it. I like it when my assistant's got the science behind the whole thing. Okay, because I don't. E I throw it in there. E equals MC squared. Look at that, look at that. See, oh, okay. look at that. See, it has, now it hasn't started boiling. It hasn't started boiling, so this is not count for the timing. Oh, so this doesn't count. You have to wait for the bubbles to come back Okay, out. so we'll stop with the clock. 10 bubbles. Let's stop start, the clock right now the until this thing starts boiling. And then we go 10 minutes. 10 bubbles. 10 minutes, okay. And then after 10 minutes, you're gonna throw in the greens. Throw them in. And then yes. when you throw in the greens, then we'll put a codfish on top, right? That's what yeah. I usually do. How long do you normally put the codfish in for? They're gonna be like five minutes, they, you know, right? That's about right. That's about right. I like it to have my exit guy just in case something goes wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you always want to have a backup plan when you cook it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so my wife isn't here, so you know, somebody's got to do it. So yes, like, I oh. am. I'm here. <laughs> oh, she's done. You know, I try to tell her to stay out of the thing, but no. You got to be invisible. She's always interjecting <laughs> because that's you know, just the way it is, you know. I try, guys, but you know, now that's the way it is. You know, the ladies, they do the right thing. In here. Um, Al grew these from seed. These are tomatoes I'm going to be uh, probably killing. <laughs> 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 oh no, these smell nice. Tony has a brown thumb. These these smell. You know, it's interesting that these plants right here. Let me tell you, if you go out and buy these plants, they don't smell like this. Look, <laughs> no, they smell like real tomatoes. I can smell they are real tomatoes. I know, but the thing is, when you buy these tomatoes in at the Home Depot or at the El Plantio, um, the garden place, dude, I mean, they do not smell like this. Okay, guys, we're gonna let the the uh, photographer smell them. Okay. Just as a it, smell this. Smell this, photographer. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Am I telling the no, truth or what? It's true. It See? does smell beautiful. Yeah, that's it. You know. So then I'm gonna have to transplant these. Yeah. So I can hide it. Because Al wants to speak about. It. May they rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they could be having a short life. You never know with me. You know, I'll do the they best. They died young, but they lived a good life. <laughs> I already know they, they didn't have, have any kids. <laughs> I know they're gonna have a problem because Al says when the temperature goes to 70 degrees, you gotta bring them inside. <laughs> I, I don't even bring the dog That's inside when it gets falls cold. Apart. <laughs> Al, I didn't bring the dog inside when it got cold. I'll miss Al. you, baby. Okay. <laughs> the uh, these um, carrots and the turmeric have been cooking for about 10 minutes. Now Al's gonna put in the collard greens. Is there any olive oil in there yet? Huh? Did you put any olive oil in that water? 
Well, I usually put you, you can usually put them on the greens. I mean, you don't put it in the water. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Push, baby, push. Okay, so these here, we're gonna put them down deep, nice, nice. Okay, and now get uh, get the codfish over here. This is the way I do it. Just put the codfish right on top. Here, I'll show you how the codfish here. We take the codfish now. It's gonna kind of steam over. See, so it'll hold them down. See that right there. And then we'll take the codfish out if it get it cooks mm -hmm. too fast. This is pretty thick codfish. Mm -hmm. So, so you look at that, like that. So now we will bring it to a nice boil. I thought you were steaming it. Huh? No, that's how <laughs> he, I do it. You just dunked it. <laughs> no, no, it's not steaming. It holds the greens down so the greens Got get it. all fully immersed. Gotcha. You know. All right. You, so you know. Set your timer. No, remember, there's a lot of. I just do this by the eye. You know. I think about five minutes or six minutes or so. We'll see. I will know because the, the codfish will start to open up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then, once it starts boiling further, we're gonna use a little baking soda. And boiling for about uh, four minutes or so. Three minutes. Three minutes, okay. Al is also a timekeeper. I okay. got the digital watch. He's got the digital watch, okay, you see? So what this will, the, what this will do, the baking soda is it will tenderize the greens and keep them nice and green. If you don't use this, they'll tend to get a little dark. Not too much, just enough. See, right there? That's all we need. As you know, um, baking soda can be used for a lot of different things because you know, it breaks down uh, all kinds of stuff. And so, and, and the bottom line is that's what my mother used. So I hope it's the right thing. I mean, this thing could even be bad for you. I don't know. You know, maybe it makes you crazy. But that's what she did, so I'm doing what she did, okay? So we'll blame her. Look, you see how the coffee is breaking down nice? This is like perfect right there. See how that's going like that? That means it's perfectly cooked. So I'm gonna put that to the side now. Take the greens Where back did you in. get the codfish, honey? Uh, I got this from the, the Italian market down on Indus Street. From in San uh, Diego. M Mona Lisa. I get it from the Portuguese man, but I, I was happened to be downtown when I was when I pick somebody up from the airport, so I just picked it up there. But, you know, I like the Portuguese codfish, you know. Look at that, beautiful. So, so now, we're just gonna check this. Use a fork. This, this is just probably- check, you know, check the other stuff with a fork and if it's done, it's done. Okay, let's see. This is done. Done. It's all done. All done. Okay. So the thing you don't want to overcook it because if the potatoes start falling apart, you know nobody's happy. Okay. So then we're gonna take the we're gonna put this in the colander here. Lay this stuff on here the way you like it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nothing personal, but. Okay. He's very fast when it comes to. I'm not good with chopsticks. <laughs> okay. So then what we're gonna do with there? Hold just, on. A just second. pretend I did it slowly. Okay. Yeah, what we're gonna do with that, then I'll do the final. Okay, you just put a little garlic like that here, okay? Okay, we're just gonna put it on here like that. Very important, that fresh garlic. Okay, so then, take this here. Mm -hmm. um, take the English olive okay, oil. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna get the stuff that I need over here. I gotta do that over there so that people can see what's happening. Okay, so then we got a little vinegar. Here's an escapee. Oh, escapee, get that back in there. Oh, this is olive oil. Okay. <laughs> Hey, these things are not late, but what am I supposed to do? You know, so the thing about cooking, you, if you mess up, then you, you correct yourself. You don't worry about it. This is really nice. Uh, we had olive oil. Oh, vinegar. Okay, you put it like that. Right? Then we'll take this off to the table and have more there, but this is like to prep it. Look at this. Olive oil and vinegar. Yeah. Red wine vinegar, of course. Red wine. Look at, look at this. Okay. Now that's the final plate right there. We'll take this to the table in case somebody wants a little bit extra. Then we're gonna sit down. We're gonna see how it tastes. Marvelous. Him now. <laughs> Good. I give it a nine out of ten. <laughs> He's gonna say, "Why? Why nine? <laughs> Al can only count till nine. That's why. That's exactly why. That's his top number." Don't worry about it. That's my G GED yeah. problem. Yeah. Is it good, good guys? Yeah. You know, it, this is all about, you know, the old ways. 
Yeah, no, really, this is as close as that they would do is that you can. As you can add up a few cannons that are in the mango. Then I probably go all these for the things that you can do. Who must have been here to say? Whatever you said. Whatever you said. I'm going to eat now, too.